What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I got a mini microphone and a dream and that's all your girl needs to succeed. I am totally joking that I just came up with that on the spot. Today I am doing my pre-season, although the season just started, um, NHL Stanley Cup predictions. Let's get into it. Alrighty, today we're going to be doing NHL predictions like I said earlier, but your girl um, just recently got into the NHL and she doesn't know too much about the teams. So this video today is more intuition intuition based than knowledge based, um, but it's going to be entertaining for all of us. I am going to set up my mini microphone in a sec. I got an iPad and I just wanted to share that because I got it for school. Facebook Marketplace. I love that place. I love that place so much. Um, but I got an iPad and I wanted to show it off and we're using it today because even though I should be using my iPad right now to study for a test I have tomorrow, I'm not doing that. Instead, we're going to look at what I wrote down for my NHL 2025 Stanley Cup predictions. I, said, I think I said 2024 earlier. I meant 2025. All right, let's get into this. All right, I know there's a difference between regular season standings and the playoff standings. Um, for the purpose of this video, this is going to be where all the teams will end up at after the play like after the playoffs after everything so the last 10 teams that i have in the top 10 that that will be my prediction for the stanley cup finals okay i hope that made sense i'm sorry if it didn't um i'm sorry i just had to asmr anyway we're gonna start from bottom of the bottom to top of the top who i think is gonna win the playoffs, all right? Starting at number 32, Utah. <laughs> they're a brand new team, and um, I already think they suck. I hate their logo. I Therefore, I hate them. That's it. I I don't think they're going to be good this season. That's just, that's just me. All right, number 31, Anaheim Ducks. Trevor Zegras. Love you. Ah, my iPod, my iPod almost fell. Um, I know he will do the Michigan. I know it's going to happen, but that's about it that's happening for the team. Okay? Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Number 30. The Columbus Blue Jackets. I don't know why they're here. They're just a floater team. I don't care for them. I don't know anything about them. They're just 30. Number 29. San Jose Sharks. Um, I believe that is a better position than they were last year. Yeah, it is. They <laughs> last year they came in last um this year we're giving them 29th because they they don't deserve last like last year and also they just got number one draft pick that has to mean something it doesn't chicago came second to last last year and they got Connor bernard so <laughs> all right number 28 the blackhawks chicago blackhawks um yeah, they're going to do better than last year for sure. I think. Pfft. Connor Bernard. Connor Bernard. Number 27. Minnesota Wild. I like their name, actually. That's kind of fun. Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, yeah, I just... Oh, my... <laughs> In my notes, I literally wrote, I like their name. That's about it. That's the only reason they're in... <laughs> That's the only reason they're number 27. I wasn't reading off my notes when I said I like their name. So I guess I really just like their name. Okay. Number 26. Philadelphia Flyers. I hate their logo. I hate it. It's ugly. But they're getting 26 because I felt like it. Okay. Okay. Number 25. St. Louis Blues. Number 24. Seattle Kraken. Um, I know P Penny and Alexiak and her brother is on this team. I've actually sat behind Jamie Oleksiak at a Blue Jays game once. That's my claim to fame. That's about it. I, I was sitting behind Penny too. Penny was there too. I also went to the same high school as Penny Oleksiak. Number 23. The Islanders. They are so rude to my boy John, okay? I don't care if he's a freaking traitor or not. You are so rude to him. So rude. And this is why he's on the Leafs. Because we treat him well. 
We did just take away his captaincy, but we treated him well, okay? 22, Washington Capitals. Oh, that's skin! That's how I wrote it here. That's all I have for the Capitals. They did make it into the playoffs last year, which is really surprising, and I knew they were not going to make it past the first round. But, um, yeah, I don't think they're going to do the good this year. I don't know why. I just don't think they will do good. That's why they got number 22. Number 21, the LA Kings. I... I, they shouldn't even be in 21. I don't like their vibe. And I just, it's literally just their logo. I know nothing about it, the team. I just don't like their logo. There's something about their team that is negative, and I'm not here for it, okay? I am not here for the, the negative energy they like to give off, okay? And that's on period. Number 20 is the Vegas Golden Knights. I don't like this team, but I'll give them a, the benefit of the doubt. Being realistic here, they did win the playoffs a few years ago. And where were they last year? I don't even know. What position were they last year? I think they were fairly high. Hold on. I'm looking at my notes. I'm just looking at words, though. I actually, like, why? Girl. What the? Where it? I don't even know. I'm going to put it on the screen because I can't. I don't even think they're on, no, they are on this list because there's 32 teams here, but if, <laughs> they were in this spot last year, and I'm giving them 20. <sighs> Number 19 is the Buffalo Sabres. I actually want to see a Buffalo Sabres this game this year. My goal in life is to go to every NHL stadium that is existent at that time um yeah they did really bad last year but i don't think they will this year i don't know i don't think that's how it works but it is in my mind so i hope to go to a buffalo's game this year though and i'm hoping that they actually don't do that good because then the tickets will be cheaper i think that's also how it works i'm not sure we'll see Number 18 are the New York Rangers. My cousin likes this team, and I'm only putting them at 18 because my cousin like this, likes this team. Um, I know I'm going to be wrong about this. I know I'm, I just, I feel like they're going to do well, but um, my top 10 were already set in stone when I remembered the Rangers existed. So, unfortunately, we had to go with 18. Um, I apologize to the Rangers fans. Honestly, I actually love the vibe of this team. And I think they will make it into the playoffs this year, but they got 18. I don't even know what's like, that's just like the most wrong thing about this list. Mm, maybe not, but that's one of the most wrong things about this list. There's, there's a few things that I know are wrong about this list, but it's just like my gut, my intuition was saying, yeah, my intuition was not saying yes about this. And I'm so sorry for all the Rangers fans. I genuinely love you guys. You Like, the vibe is there for this team. All right. Number 17. Calgary. I have to have all my Canadians, Canadian teams up there. Even if I think they won't do good, I have to have them up there just because I'm Canadian. And that's the only reason Calgary's up here. Other than that, I don't think they're a good team. Number 16. I'm pretty sure this is backwards. Alright. <laughs> Here are my top 16, aka the top teams that I think will be making in it in to the playoffs this year. Oh, is someone calling me? Nope. It's just an alarm. <laughs> Alright. Starting at number 16, we're putting Carolina Hurricanes. <laughs> um, why are they here? I don't even... Oh, they... I think they're going to do shittier than they did last year. I think they're going to make it into the playoffs, but they aren't going to make it as far as they did last year. Last year, they made it um, to fifth with Carolina Avalanche. They were, like, equal out to fifth. Um, yeah, that's just how I feel about them. Number 15, Nashville Predators. O'Reilly. That's all I have to say. Number 14 is the New Jersey Devils. 
I am so incredibly wrong about this one and I know it. I know it, but I put them this high because I think it is so incredibly cool how all three Hughes brothers are all playing in the NHL and I think that is a huge accomplishment on the parents' behalf. Like, I just, I think that's really, really cool and therefore they are at number 14. Number 13, we have Ottawa Senators um, because I like Brady more wait why is okay that doesn't actually make sense why ottawa senators are lower than florida panthers on my list but i literally just said i like brady more so actually we're gonna put um ottawa senators at 12 so at number 13 we have florida panthers um they won last year, so I think they're going to get a little too cocky. They're going to get in their head. They're going to be like, oh, I'm too good because I won last year, so I'm too good. And because they're so cocky, they are going to do worse than they did last year because they are too in their heads. That's, yeah, and they're just going to flop. Oh, and I also don't like Matthew Chuck. I think he's just, he's way too cocky to, yeah, no, just, they're not making it anywhere close to that Stanley Cup. Number 12, Ottawa Senators, because I like Brady more. That's it. Other than that, I do not care for Ottawa. That's on period. Honestly, they shouldn't actually be this high. To be honest, I should have put New York Ranger Rangers in Ottawa Senators' position. But I didn't. So, yeah, that's, that's that. All right. Moving on. Number 11, we have the Winnipeg Jets. Um, this one's for that one guy who loves the Jets. I think his name is Jesse Polak. Polak. I've actually met him. Twice. Yeah. I know. Crazy. My brother dabbed him up. It was, it was really weird. Um, yeah, I met him. He was like a five minute walk from my house. Why? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is, this is for him. Number 10. Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, they are existent, and therefore, I think they should be in my top 10. Oh, wait, we're at 10. Oh, hold on. One sec. Number 10. I'm going to put some really cool effects here. All right, that's enough. Number 10. Tampa Bay Lightning, as I said before, they're existent. I think they should be at top 10. But also because um, Florida's going through something right now. Wait. Okay, Florida and Tampa Bay are going through something right now. And it's all because of the Carolina Hurricanes. I'm joking. It's because of Milton. Mr. Milton, the hurricane. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I feel really bad for the people living in the state of Florida. And I'm pretty sure Tampa Bay is in Florida. Hey, Google. Is Tampa in Florida? Sorry. Yes. Tampa is in the state of Florida. I feel really bad for those that are being affected by two hurricanes in the past two weeks. Um, when I was making this list, Milton, Helena, whatever her name was, they were non-existent, but because it's relevant to the story right now, um, that is another reason why they are so high. And another reason why Florida is so high. For sure. All right. Number nine is the Detroit Red Wings. Now, this is a shot in the dark and the only reason they are up here, because I love Alex DeBrincat. I think that's the only reason. Yeah. And he's got a really cute kid. That was the other reason. Alex DeBrincat, I like him, and he's got a cute kid. Um, they came in around 18th last year, so... I did, however, see them play... Um, the Montreal Canadiens, and I think they beat the Montreal Canadiens. That is not hard to do, though, which is odd given that I have Montreal Canadiens at number eight. Okay, I am also so wrong about this. Um, and, f like, there's just, like, there's no reasoning behind Montreal being at number eight. It's the stupidest reason ever especially given that they were very close to being last approximately five spots from being last um 
last year but my brother likes the team and he will shit on me excuse my language he will crap on me excuse my language he will poo no see it doesn't work he will just be very upset if i if he watches this and he sees that they're not high so i'm putting them high just for him but they shouldn't be that high they shouldn't actually the other day i saw a preseason game leafs versus montreal and i almost saw a montreal fan fight a leafs fan it was really entertaining but they didn't fight and i was really upset because i really would have loved to see that and to make it even better it happened on the subway i love the city of toronto number seven pittsburgh penguins also very wrong about this one if if you haven't noticed yet my top 10 are very just they're just not solid i know they are not right and i'm honest with that at least at least i can acknowledge that i know i'm not right um but yeah pittsburgh penguins are at number seven and it's because michael bunting is my favorite player and Sidney crosby is really hot and that's about it <sighs> sorry i'm just thinking about Sidney crosby right now all right number six <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs. I just want them to make it to the second round. I don't care if they flop again. I just need them to make it to the playoffs and make it past the second round. That's it. And I hope, and I just hope, that something will come out of their new coach. Sheldon Keith, bye bye. Hello, new coach, whatever his name is. Insert photo here of this man. Don't know who he is. Don't really care. But I'm hoping that he will do something good for the team and hopefully let them make it past the second round. Now we move on to position number five, Boston Bruins, who kicked them out of the playoffs last year and will probably do it again this year. Listen, that was bad double chin i'm sorry you had to experience that listen i don't like the boston bruins i do not like them but they are a good team they're a good team jeremy swayman he's hot brad marchand he's an asshole but i love him when the people of the boston bruins tiktok posts him he is a queen i love brad marchand for that. i hate him on the ice but i love him off the ice he seems like a really cool dude off ice on the ice not so much but i think they will make it far this year farther than they did last year number four dallas stars i like jake or T o Tiger, their goalie i don't know if he's still their goalie he was at some point though and they're number four um i was really upset with them last year when i they kicked out colorado I'm pretty sure they kicked out Colorado from the from the playoffs last year, and I was really upset about that. But you know what? I'd like to see them go further this year. I don't think... Oh, actually, they did go... No, wait, did they? Yeah, they did go pretty far this year, actually. Um, yeah, I'd like to see them go as just as far, but not further, because they kicked out the Avalanche, and I was really upset. Number three. Number three. This is so I don't have to edit it later. Number three. All right. Number three. I know at number three, we have... Who do we have? Who do we have? Who did I put on this list? Because I, I have the brain of a goldfish and I can't remember. Um, It's not... Hold on. It's like it was sideways. Okay. Number three, Edmonton Oilers. Listen. They made it to second last year. They almost made it to first, but they didn't. But because they almost made it to first, I believe they still will have the drive to possibly try it again. I, I would like to see McDavid get a... Um, I would like to see him get the Stanley Cup. However, I don't think next year is his year. I don't think it is. I'd like to see it, but I don't think it's his year. Um... But I think they will have the drive to get as far, almost as far as they did last year. Number two. Number two. 
two um okay at number two who do we got who do we got who do we got i'm too lazy to pause the video again who do we got i think it is colorado hold on it's loading it's loading yes it is i honestly just want to see them go to the playoffs i mean no i i want to see the avalanche in the playoffs again um I don't think they will win, and that's just me being a Canadian and wanting a Canadian team to win. However, if they did win, I'd honestly be totally fine with that. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the Colorado Avalanche win. Um, I think it would be really... What the f Sorry, um, I don't know what that is, but I think it's clothing, and I just, I didn't know what it was. That was kind of... Um, if they won, <laughs> I'd be stoked just as stoked as I would be to see the team that I have in first place on the thing. Um, yeah. So I wouldn't care if they won. I'd actually like to see it. But who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Number one. Ooh, ooh. Oh. All right, I have no clue what happened there. Um, number one, Vancouver Canucks. I think it's finally a team... I <laughs> I think it's finally the year a Canadian team wins, okay, honey? I think it is. Not my team, but a Canadian team. Yeah, I'm totally reading off a script if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> Hence why I keep... But, um, no, I would like to see a Canadian team win, to be honest. If it's not Vancouver, I hope it's Edmonton. If it's not Edmonton, I hope it's... Um, the Leafs, honestly. I'd like to see the Leafs win. I think it would be really fun. I lived to, to some... I've lived to somehow see the Toronto Raptors win. Now let me see the Toronto Blue Jays win. What? No! <laughs> Sorry. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Although the Toronto Blue Jays did do really bad this year but i'd like to see the toronto maple leafs win like come on i think it's like a, toronto has a curse okay like concert curse they can't seem to do good in their sports like but yeah honestly if i see if i got to see any of my top six win the playoffs besides the dallas stars so honestly just like switch the Dallas Stars with Toronto Maple Leafs and make it top five. So if I saw Toronto Maple Leafs, Boston Bruins, Edmonton Oilers, Colorado Avalanche, or Vancouver Canucks, if I saw one of those five teams win this year, I'd be not only really proud of myself because I put them in my top five, but I would also be really excited and I'd be content with that. I'd honestly be content if one of those teams won. If Dallas won, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see Dallas win. I don't know why the Dallas slander. I just don't want to see them win. They don't interest me interest me as a team they really don't my top five teams that i just listed to you there they all interest me in some way um and also some of them have really good social media teams like y'all if you haven't seen the boston Bruins TikTok page y'all look at it because it is i love it i think calgary also has a really good one too um but yeah that's my predictions for the nhl standings this year i'm going to come back and talk to you and see if my predictions change in the middle of the season um will they probably not but we will see um what do i hope for, to see from the season this year let's see um i hope to see another goalie goal um i hope to see mitch marner get traded <laughs> yeah i want to see max domi get injured I don't want him on the Leafs anymore. I'm sorry. He just does nothing for our team. Um, I really want to see Mitch Marner get traded. Heavy on the Mitch Marner getting traded. Heavy. Um, what else do I want to see? I don't know. I want to see... Oh, I want to see someone do a Michigan. That's not normal. You know what I want to see? I want to see a goalie do the Michigan that's like next to impossible but i think that would be really funny um yeah i don't know what else i'd want to see from this season this to be honest um lots of fights heavy on the fights as well heavy on the mitch marner getting traded and heavy on the fights you know what maybe mitch marner gets fought and gets 
really badly injured i don't know we've only we've already seen like some pretty crazy fights happen in the preseason so i'm excited for the possible fights that will happen in this season tomorrow is the first game that the leafs and montreal and honestly most of the canadian teams will be playing tomorrow wednesday october 9th um so i'm excited to see montreal and the leafs play against each other um ooh, ryan reeves love to see him fight i want to see riley morgan riley i want to see him do what he did last year i can't remember what he did but i do know he body checked someone after they took a slap shot in the net and i want to see that again i want to see that energy coming from morgan riley i'm just yapping at this point about what i want to see because i'm trying to make this video go long i don't know why i'm trying to make it go long though because no one watches a video next year, that is sure 20 minutes long anymore next year gen z doesn't have the intention time for that make sure Neither you like do i have the time to edit this or subscribe i have so like, much whatever side to do is on on this video so i'm gonna see you guys I also have to go to next bed. time i also have to study i hope you enjoy this video please let me know if you did work, but that please let me know if you want to see problem. any more all right at this point I'll see the test is common time. sense third time all right and it's not, not so much common sense all right which is why you need my guidance on who you should be cheering for this year the top five teams that i just listed put in here that's more editing i have to do but i'm putting it in here 